Alright guys, I just finished setting the two back posts and concrete just a little bit. Just at the bottom to hold it in place. So that's about three feet deep of concrete. Uh, 700 pounds. 700 pounds of hand-mixed concrete there. That'll hold them in place. This thing is dead on level. And so once that's set, then I can whoops, I can work this around a little bit. And it's already pretty straight, but I can get it perfect and then we'll get the truck in here. basically assembled but now I'm going to go through and torque everything down to spec right so I'm going to use this Tektron torque wrench this thing works really good adjustable here uh, I've got this fat wrench I like this guy I use it a lot especially for electrical stuff but you know you can put an adapter on here and use it like that it's great I'll put links to this stuff in the, in the pinned comment uh, 9 16 does almost everything on here, the U-bolts and all that. I got a 3 16 Allen for the top cap and 7 16 for the UFO clamps that clamp down the panels. So let's go torque it down. Okay, so I'm going to start with these rail connector U-bolts. These are 5 foot-pounds or 60 inch-pounds, which is about at the top of the scale of this fat wrench. So we're going to try using this guy. Doesn't take much for these guys. You don't want to bend this bracket. Tighten them evenly. You don't want to tighten one side all the way. Okay, next we're going to do the rail connector brackets these guys here and those are 21 foot pounds so let's see starting at zero we're gonna go to 21 right there okay These uh, 3 16 top cap Allens are 20 foot pounds. That's quite a bit. There we go. Of course, it's got to hold. I mean, there's a couple thousand pounds of cement thing's got to hold it. There we go, 20 foot pounds.
All right, so it turned out nice and straight. It looks real good. Pretty happy with it. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. If you can tell, it's dirty. It's pollen season down here, Florida. So we haven't had a rain in a few days, but it'll wash off. I pressure wash these about once uh, every two years. <laughs> Probably should do it every year. I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, it's strong. And you got 8,000 pounds of concrete holding this thing down. Didn't get a chance to clean it up, but it's okay. Probably maybe even cover it over with a little, probably, it'll probably end up covering itself over with a little dirt over the years. Yeah. All right guys, so in the next one, I think I'll do the PT100 and all the wiring for that. And then the one after that, we'll do the combiner box. And then we'll do a launch and some performance on it. So we got a few more videos coming on the series. But that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.